for you, how do you come across new talent? Like, I know you're not sitting on Spotify, you know, just looking at random artist music. No, I'm, you know, I'm still old school, right? So I predate streaming. Um, I love streaming, don't get me wrong, but I do predate streaming. So um, I'm, I need, um, there's, there's like a handful of people that I really respect their ear, right? And if they say that they like somebody or they make a positive mention of a talent that I'm not aware of because I value them, that's like a good word of mouth referral to me, right? And so I'll go tap in, mm -hmm. check stuff out. Um, one thing I do really well at this point, because I'm, I'm as old as I am now and I'm as, as accomplished, I can't be in the streets like I used to be, although I am in the streets a lot. I, I find, I keep young people around me. And what I mean by mm -hmm. young people, people between the age of 20 and 30, right? Um, who are in the streets, who are, you know, who still have that desire, right? And I stay tapped in with, with you know, young tastemakers. And, and listen, and I just pay attention to what they're talking about, who they're listening to, what they're posting. And I, I stay tapped in with that. Now, as far as who I want to work with, talent is actually not the number one thing that motivates me. Mm. I don't care. It's work ethic. I want, I'd rather work with someone who's, if I'd work with them or not, they're not going to give up on themselves, mm. right? Because a lot of times you'll, you'll, you'll work with talent, but because they know they're talented, they're, they feel uh, privileged or entitled, right? And they're like, well, you know, these other people are, are on and I'm more talented than them. How come I can't get a fair shake? Maybe mm. you're not doing the work. I don't know. Like, I want someone who's going to work their ass off because I work my ass off. The reason why Head and I get along is we can't outwork each other. You know what I'm saying? Like when we're dead exhausted, I'm talking about dead exhausted. It'll be 10 o'clock at night or 1030. We'll be someplace. And then he'll get a text, a hey, such and such in the studio. They want me to pull up and we're, we're tapped out. We're like, all right, man, let's go. And we'll just go and pull up on the homie, whoever it may be. Cause you mm -hmm. know, they will be in the studio, you know, middle of the night or whatever. And then we'll leave at like three in the morning. We were tired at 10. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but mm -hmm. we still stayed out. And so it's about the, that, you know, that, that work ethic you know, artists that, you know, aren't willing to put in the work for themselves, you know, I I don't care about it anymore. I lost so much money early in my life working with artists that were talented, but didn't, didn't want to put in the work. Now I, I care about the work ethic. What are you, what are you doing without me tapping in? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that a lot of artists look at a manager as someone that's just going to take work off their shoulders and make exactly. things easier when the reality is like everybody should be working really hard and what they do towards a common goal like cool. you don't don't take your foot off the pedal just because you have a manager now why should i outwork you and get a, a fraction of the of the revenue <laughs> right i mean right. i'm not saying that managers should work at the percentage in which they get paid i'm not in any way suggesting that but don't have me outwork you to get a smaller percentage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just I, not that's just not fair to me. <laughs> you want me to outwork you and get a smaller? I'm here to I'm here in assistance of you know in in you know to help you out. But you have to put in the work. 